day 599. Day rating is a 7. Even though it was a weird day, only got about two hours of sleep. Then got up, went for a 10 mile run. That was the goal, and that's what we did. And got to run with a little pack, which was great. Normally it's kind of me and my buddy here just on my own. And so it felt really nice to have, well, it, it was kind of on and off again, four to seven people, four to six people. And so we could all just kind of settle in and each share the work. It was really, really nice. Like, yeah just enjoyed it a lot and not only just for the socializing a little bit but it just helped make the run so much quicker it just even when we got to four miles it just felt like two it, it just a little I don't know this is dirty a little better but it was just a nice run it, 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 you know I was tired it felt a lot better and the pace was still good. I think it was 7.43 pace average. We started around 7.48. <clears throat> Somewhere in there. And then just hung around at 7.35. And then we backed it up a little bit. So the plan was to go out four out, four back. And then let people kind of come back for the water or to take a break. And then we would continue to go the next mile out mile back for 10 and so we had two people in the group and they just said hey I'm kind of maxed out today or the pace is a little bit and so we said alright well if you guys want to go another two we'll back off another 15-20 seconds so it got a nice casual pace for the end which I think for the day was great it just worked out well and then afterwards we went to go to Little O's and we sat down water, coffee, some people got some food. And I came back, showered, made the smoothie, and then drank a little bit, and then just took a nap. And then when I was out from about 11.30 to 1.30, somewhere in there, and I got up randomly and just had to go to the bathroom. And so after that, I was like, all right, let's... <laughs> I still feel tired. I still feel like I could sleep at least another hour or two, but I need to eat. So I started drinking a smoothie again, had some chips with some salsa just because I needed something then. Put the leftover pizza in the air fryer and that just comes out really good, really good. I'd almost start you better than it comes out of the oven. Then I just sat down a little bit, tried to play with the pup. She wanted to go for a walk, so we went for a little 15, 20 minute walk. Came in, was going back and forth about going to that movies and meals group. We we're supposed to see Smile, and I was just not doubting the movie, but just my energy level just today has been kind of drained with lack of sleep. So I just kind of decided last minute. The movie started at 5, I left at 4.30, 4.35, somewhere in there and then went to the movie. I'm glad I did. It was a nice movie. I only saw four people in the group there. Well, me plus three, so four all together. And it was definitely a well put together scary horror movie, whichever you want to categor categorize it as. It had its kind of weird, crazy moments and it had its, its moments where you could tell something was building or something was eerie. So overall it was good. I'd probably watch it again. I wouldn't say there's any spoilers, like things to catch, nothing like that. But they definitely did a good job. It made you kind of feel safe and relaxed when you needed to. And then when moments got a little intense or weird, they made you feel creeped out and there was moments too where you didn't know if you should be creeped out so I think that was a nice play like, 
oh, they're safe. This is their friend. And then something happens and you're just waiting for it. Like, oh, so it was a nice, a nice watch. Two hours, I think it was. It didn't start until, oh, what is it with these trailers? About 5.25, almost 5.30. So it didn't gather till a little after 7. And I didn't go to the meal. I just didn't want to. So they're going to Panera and I don't care for them too much and I didn't really feel like spending the 12 or $15 whatever it was so came back played with the pup and yep buddy that alone I don't know what that's doing on some plastic but Came back, we played a little bit, tried to watch the end of the Hocus Pocus, and I thought it was good. That was another good movie. I think they gave like a new fun spin on it, but it still had a lot from the first one to relate to. I definitely added on to the story. I think it was good enough where I think fans would appreciate both. I don't know if I've heard anyone say anything bad about it yet, but I'm sure it's, it's just it's still early, so I'm gonna wait till next week to see what people think. Maybe I'll get more feedback. But overall, I, I enjoyed it. I'd watch it again. And of course, the whole Hocus Pocus group is there. I mean, the only thing that wasn't there was was it Binks? Binks, the, the cat, which I was kind of. I feel like that was a big role in the first one. They they had a black cat in there, just never talked and never did anything significant. So, hmm. mm -hmm. but they definitely added onto the story, gave you almost a little bit of a prequel, if you will, at some point, and then came back around. But still the same fun as the first one, so people like the first they should for the most part like the second there's always gonna be people that say oh it's just the second it's never as good or they waited too long or whatever it is they want to say but overall it's a good, another good job well done oh, that's it though after that I tried to watch what was it called some National Geographic show it had, it had another name had a name there was also the name of a movie that was no relation. It just happened to be a secret world or underground, secret underground. I don't know, but talks about animals and how they can communicate or have these little abilities, if you will, for survival. Like one, it showed these little gliding squirrels. And they said it gets to minus 30 at night. And so, but they have to have so many calories, so every once in a while one has to break away, go find food. But then they're so far away, they don't know where they are, and so they have a high-pitched sound that they send to their group, and the group kind of echoes back, and then one of them comes to go get them. And then they also have a illuminating stomach, which I thought was cool. And that illuminating stomach just allows them to identify each other instead of being prey so that that was really cool there was other cool stuff but that was definitely a cool one <sighs> but tomorrow oh there's also the London Marathon tomorrow tonight well in two hours I don't know if I'm going to make it I'm feeling tired I'd probably go to sleep now so I can maybe go to a track workout tomorrow morning at 7 it's with a little bit of the group that I ran with this morning. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel in the morning. I'm going to see. <laughs> Sunday's kind of my... As long as I get in my long run and most of the other runs, I can just do whatever. So whether I do another four to six miles hard or four to six miles easy, or three miles easy or three miles hard it's just whatever it is 
It's just a total do what mentally and physically feels good. There's no pressure for Sundays, assuming that all the other days are done. And the only other day I took off was Tuesday, and the Temple Run, run went well. The Wednesday run was all right. Friday was all right. It's good. Today's was great. So all the, most of the work is done. So we'll see about tomorrow. There's something else going on tomorrow besides the track. Anyways, tomorrow's a track. Maybe. So run your life with health and happiness and have a good night.